Welcome to another edition of Youth Ablaze. My name is Tunde Samson. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your love and mercy. We pray that you give us the grace to please you in all our ways. In Jesus' name, Amen. Why you should stop watching porn? The truth about pornography. Let us check the book of Colossians 3 verse 5. It says, Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Let us also check the book of Matthew 5 verse 28. It says, But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Pornography involves illicit relationship between two people who are not husband and wife, which is clearly contrary to God's design of sexual relationship, which should be between husband and wife only, according to Matthew 19 verse 5 to 9. God specifically said flee sexual immorality in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 18. That is, do not have sex with someone who is not your spouse. Sexual acts are also private by nature. Therefore, choosing to watch such sinful acts makes you part of their evil deeds. Remember, the Bible warns us not to have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Also, the Bible states clearly in the Matthew 5 verse 20 that I read earlier, but I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. By looking at the nakedness of another man or woman, you will be committing adultery in your heart according to the scriptures because you can't watch pornography without falling lust in your heart. Adultery in your mind may lead you being unfaithful to your spouse if you are married which may eventually lead to marriage breakdown. Pornography pulls a person deeper and deeper into sexual addiction and ungodly desire. Pornography will pollute your mind and stain it with the naked images you have watched. Such images become engraved in your mind and thoughts and thus interfere with the normal sexual relation with your spouse if you are married. Pornography will make you lose your focus. Your energy is channeled towards the wrong thing. Pornography will open the door for other sins, fornication, masturbation, lust. Pornography addiction will not, if not dealt with, will send you to hell according to the scriptures that the sexual immoral will not inherit the kingdom of God. Ephesians 5 verse 3 to 6. Pornography will make you lust after other people in your mind. This is offensive to God according to Proverbs 6 verse 25 which says, Do not lust in your heart after a beauty or let her captivate your you with her eyes. Watching pornography will invite sins and demons into your life or marriage if you are married, opening the door for the devil to attack your home. As Christians, we must determine to today to do away with acts that will harm and pollute your mind and destroy your relationship with God. Have you been indulging in pornography as a person you, and you are already becoming addicted to it? Or is your relationship and marriage at the verge of collapsing due to porn and sexual immoralities? Why don't you surrender everything to God today? allowing him to restore you and help you deal with your addiction jesus said come to me all all you who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest you will find rest and peace for your soul in jesus name amen the bible says if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Confess your sins today and ask him to forgive you. If you are ready to give your life to Jesus, say these prayers after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe in my heart you died and rose from the dead to save me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have any questions, comment, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.